What's going on YouTube? Dude Heat want to make a quick video on how to clean your Stone Island pieces. This right here is a jumper from the Fall Winter 17 collection and I got a little poo stain on mine that I want to tell you a bit more about. Right about there. Right down the middle. So this is actually the second offense. I had a splatter of poo stain. It was literally either poo or brown mud on the back of this shirt. I ended up cleaning it off with this. Um, I, I told myself the next time I make this, then maybe I should make a video on it. And you know, literally probably a couple weeks later this happened. Stone Island, if you guys don't know already, I mean, you know, I might, I might offend some people, but it's really just glorified basics. As you can see, it's like very, very plain. You have their um, Stone Island patch and branding just like removable on the sleeve. And really what you're paying for is just really high quality materials. I don't know, it's it's thick, um, it's heavy. It's just a basic, you know, it's not like your Zara or H&M basic, you know, you wash it two, three times and it's, you know, you've lost the, the, the fit. I've had this since probably January of this year and I've worn it probably like 25 to 30 times. So it's got a ton of wear. I've always hand washed it. Truth is, people that actually own this, and the reason why this video doesn't exist already on YouTube is because people that actually own this can probably afford this to do dry cleaning. People like me, there might be other solutions, uh, less expensive solutions. This resolve bottle, this is basically like a spot remover, stain spot remover, and uh, this cost me like $10. It's great, like if you have any, especially white garments that you need to clean, um, or any stains in general, this is honestly like the way to go. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna identify the area. We're gonna try and do this with one hand. And you're gonna be super liberal in where you spray. Now if I mess this up, I'm gonna turn off the camera, but I'm just gonna show you guys. You're gonna stay about, stay about this far away and just, and just spray liberally on the area. So that's totally soaked in. And then what you're gonna do is actually you're gonna, you're gonna rub the area with the fabric already. Probably should wear gloves for this, it's cause it's starting to sting already. All right, I've absolutely christened and baptized this area with a ton of this solvent that's burning my fingers right now. But basically I just rubbed it in. Um, so you're gonna allow, like you're gonna literally have the place that's kind of covered and just rub it like that. Uh, let it sit for probably, it's, it recommends anywhere between um, one and five minutes. I'm gonna let this sit for like three minutes and we'll check it out after that time. All right, folks, well, now that you're um, letting things kind of sit over there, I'm gonna walk over to my bathtub. Please uh, note the free hotel shampoos. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fill this with cold water. It's the lowest setting, and keep it really, really cold. You're gonna want to only wash um, your jumpers in cold. You don't wanna do hot. Um, especially if they're jumpers with any color. This is white, so fortunately I think like warmer water would be okay, but I'm just gonna keep it at cold. This is what I typically do. All right, and then when you're ready, you're gonna get your, uh, whoa, kind of mountain this thing. You're gonna wanna get your um, laundry detergent, and I'm just gonna pour a pretty liberal amount in here. There you go. Yeah, maybe a bit more. Don't be afraid. All right, and the next thing I do is I get a, just a glove and you're just gonna wanna make sure this is all, all kind of dissolved. So you probably need like an inch of water. Make sure it's really well dissolved. And let's go check on our jumper right now. Okay guys, one thing I completely forgot to mention is make sure you take off the bat. You don't wanna actually wanna be cleaning um, the garment with the badge, at least I don't, just in case you know, it bleeds onto the fabric or anything happens. All right, so everyone you talk to is gonna say, make sure you flip your garments inside out. For me, um, this problem area is on the, on the outside. So I'm not too afraid right now. I mean, if you wanna do it inside out, you can. Most people recommend that if you're using the laundry machine, but we're doing this by hand. So I'm just gonna lay this out completely flat, make sure the entire surface area is submerged in the water. And I'm literally gonna watch how I hand wash my clothes. Flip it and just let it sit. Just let it soak for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Just gonna let it soak for a little bit. All right, so you've let this sit for about 30 seconds. All I'm gonna do now is just literally start swishing the garment through the water. You're gonna be super delicate and you're just gonna start allowing the water to kind of pass through the fabric. And at this point, it's just gonna start cleaning it. The dirt's just gonna be removed. Hopefully this area is covered. And this is literally how I clean any more delicate fabrics. I literally put it in one at a time, cold water, laundry detergent, and just do this. All right, your next step is gonna drain the water. 
right after that you're gonna thoroughly rinse the garment and then you're done all right guys so I cleaned um, the jumper everything is looking good the only issue is that right now it's just soaking wet what some people do is throw it right on a hanger and hang it and you don't want to do that the reason is because it will start to stretch the collar so you're gonna have a stretched collar because there's so much weight being distributed onto um, the rest of the uh, the fabric and then you're also gonna have maybe some lines or some stretching here it's not gonna fit the same I don't recommend you do that some people um, would just throw it in the laundry machine and just spin it you know I've done that a couple times but if you've already gone this far what I recommend is just getting a clean towel and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna roll it up and what this will do is soak up all the excess water and you're just gonna literally leave it rolled just like this super simple all right so we're rolled we're ready to go I'm about to light this thing up and smoke this I'm just kidding you're gonna leave this for probably about anywhere between maybe 20 and 30 minutes make sure most of it's soaked up and then we're gonna take it out we're gonna hang it and I'll show you guys the end result tomorrow all right good morning guys just wanted to show you overnight dried the um, dried the jumper and it looks beautiful now. That stain that was in the middle, totally gone. So this product, again, you can probably find something similar, um, if not the exact same Resolve. I mean, that's what it's called, 10 bucks, and um, it's safe and, and, and works well in your garments. So I got tons of other videos on my channel, so would love for you guys to check it out. For now, you do heat, peace.